and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about a new bike that has been revealed, actually two of them, but I'm going to talk specifically about one on this uh, video. And that's from Lyric Cycles. They just made an announcement that the graffiti, original graffiti, is being uh, changed. There's going to be a graffiti 2023, they're calling it. So they've changed some of the things on the bike, but on this video, I want to talk about the other bike that they um, revealed today or yesterday. You're seeing the video the next morning. And that is the new bike called the Graffiti X. Now, there's not a lot of detail yet. They're not telling us a whole lot yet. But I'll uh, tell you what I know about this bike so far. So the first thing that gets my attention is the fact that it's 60 volt as opposed to 52 volt. So right there quickly uh, gets my attention. They're calling this uh, graffiti, by the way, a or Graffiti X, the Graffiti on steroids. So it's the uh, more powerful than the Graffiti. So the original, we'll call them 2022 as they did, and 2023 Graffiti. So the one I own, I'm on the uh, uh, Grizzly right now, but the one I own is the Lyric Graffiti 2022. Well, the new one, is going to be um, more powerful as you can tell with a 60 volt as opposed to a 52 volt it's going to be more powerful and have more speed so more powerful and more speed but they're not telling us how much power and how much speed so it's a little tease right now so it's kind of exciting to see where this is going to go and uh, let's see some other things the battery is going to be larger that's all we know and it's obviously going to be 60 volt and it's going to sit down right down in the center of the frame there so it's going to be uh, lower and better handling for the bike when the battery is in that position the tires, they are going to be all-terrain tires, so this bike is aiming at being more of a street and off-road, as opposed to the uh, Graffiti, 2022 Graffiti being more of a uh, street bike. This one's going to be for either or. And more powerful and more speed. I don't know, like I say, how much power but the speed, they did hint at the speed, saying that it's going to be 40 miles per hour plus. So you're probably looking at, the comparable to me sounds a lot like the uh, Onyx City 2, where that's a 60 volt. I believe that is a 3000 watt motor. And that one will go, I think they say that one can go close to four, between 40 and 45 miles per hour. So I think this bike sure sounds like it's going to be something similar to that. So that's the way I see uh, in a comparison. I wouldn't compare the uh, style of bike necessarily, but I'm just going by the, the power. The only thing about the, uh, the Onyx City 2 is that the battery yeah, it's a 60 volt, but the battery is only a 23 amp hour battery. So I'm hoping that the battery they put in this, uh, the new Graffiti X is, you know, 
bigger than that. I would think, I would think they they got to put something like a oh gee, I would think a 40 amp hour maybe, maybe 50 even, but I don't know. We'll have to see where it goes. The uh, tires. I didn't hear them give a dimension, but I assume they're 20 by 4, and they're going to be all-terrain tires. Uh, the other uh, big news on this bike that's uh, different than the graffiti is that it's going to have a full suspension. So, no more hardtail. So for those of you that like, I mean, we all like uh, suspension, I'm sure, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see what the cost is going to be on this bike, though. That that we have no idea. I don't even really want to speculate. Um, so we'll see. We'll see where that goes. The other thing I do know. that the new Graffiti X is going to have that uh, I like as well is uh, signal lights. Uh, I think that's going to be a good add. No uh, mention on whether it's going to be, uh, uh, what about the motor? Like, I don't even know if it's going to be a mid-drive, hub motor, gear, gearless, don't know so I think that's about all I do know on this bike they're keeping it kind of quiet right now because I don't think they're they're still in the uh, testing stages and all so they don't want to say too much because something could get changed along the way and so but uh, it sure does sound promising And the, the photo I seen, which uh, looks pretty good, so I don't know. Uh, we'll have to play uh, the old wait and see game here on this one. But uh, something else uh, sounds like if you purchase the bike, or you won't be able to purchase it at least until the fall. This is something that's going to be a little while uh, yet, so. Sounds like it's going to be later later in the year. So it's definitely, definitely something to keep an eye on. That's for sure. They also have, as I mentioned, a, a new uh, version of the graffiti. 2023 style and uh, on a future video I will talk about that bike but uh, the one that caught my eye was the one that they didn't say a whole lot about and that was the Graffiti X I guess if you were slotting the uh, bikes you would put the uh, you would put the uh, new Graffiti at the lower end, then the uh, 2022 Graffiti, then you would put the uh, Graffiti X, and then the uh, Voodoo, or Ghost. Uh, that's the way it sounds like. It sounds like the uh, Graffiti X is going to fit nicely right in, right underneath the uh, Voodoo. It's not going to be the Voodoo, but it's going to be... Uh, more powerful and more uh, speed than the uh, Graffiti 2022. So something to look forward to. We'll see where it goes. And if I get more information, I will let you know. I'll leave a link in the uh, description to uh, so you can go and check it out yourself there. Uh, uh, they don't have a whole lot. Basically, they have what, what I told you. And uh, and that's about it. One other thing I wanted to mention too is that the Graffiti 
2022 graffiti is now sold out. So it sounds like uh, if you got one, it sounds like it, it's probably a collector item. And if you didn't get one, uh, it sounds like you're out of luck because uh, it's apparently they're sold out and it doesn't sound like they're going to be selling anymore. At least that's the impression I got. So, um, so we'll have to move on forward to the newer bikes and, uh, and uh, see where these bikes go. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for joining me again for the video ride and if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel just hit that subscribe button and I thank you very much for doing that and if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified and if you'd like to leave a comment on this or any other video on the channel just go ahead and leave it in the comments below also, uh, don't forget to uh, tell your friends about the channel and uh, check out some of the videos from the past. We are now uh, well past 200 videos on the channel and uh, there may be a video in there that might interest you that you didn't uh, see yet or uh, want to watch again even. But... Uh, Go ahead and check that out there's like i say 200 plus i think we're pretty close to 250. so once again that's going to do it for this video thank you for joining me on the video and until next time take care